Hey, what's up? This is KShow22 here coming back at you guys with a new Java tutorial. Uh, for this video, we'll actually be going over Chapter 2, uh, Project 2, Assignment 2. So now with this, like I said, I always normally go straight to the output of what the instructor is actually wanting. And this is actually what they're wanting the output to look like. So let's go ahead and start. You should already have your default template loaded in here. And go ahead and just you know go through all that so the first thing we need to do is go ahead and import the scanner utility this will allow us to input information into our program to do that just java.util.scanner and then we're going to have a semicolon and then we're going to go ahead and create a comment and just say that we're importing this class okay and then in our main we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and put in the, the scanner keyboard and what that looks like is scanner keyboard is equal to new scanner scanner system dot in okay and the next thing we're going to go ahead and create space just to kind of stay organized we're going to go ahead and declare our variables okay and once that's done we can go ahead and start with actually displaying some information so use the system dot out dot print ln Please enter the numerator. Okay, and then we can go ahead, and this is where we're going to actually accept input from the user. Numerator is equal to, sorry, keyboard.next int and then semicolon. And that's going to go ahead and accept the input from the user. Now the next, the rest of this, I'm going to go ahead and just go through the rest of it and pause the video, then I'll resume. Okay, so next would be the system.out.println. Please enter the denominator. We're going to go ahead and accept that. Now what's actually happening here, so this is our numerator right here. And here we declared a variable where we can actually store a integer. This is going to actually put whatever we input and store in that variable. It's kind of like a container where we can store information. It's a storage unit. So we're going to go ahead and store that, and we're going to store the denominator. Here we're going to go ahead, we declared a double decimal equivalent, and this is actually going to go ahead and do the math and store it in our dec decimal equivalent. We're going to go ahead and show the original fraction, and then from there we're going to go ahead and show you what it's equal to. So we're going to display it. So let's go ahead and compile. We're going to go ahead and save that, and then we're going to go ahead and run it. So the numerator, let's say it's two, the denominator is three. The original fraction was two over three. This would give you decimal equivalent of exactly. And for some reason it says display the sum quotient, I believe. Okay, and we can go ahead and compile and just save that one more time. And then that's all for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to check the description below as I do have all the project files for this entire uh, series.